Hi guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to download Scratch on your mobile phone. So let's get started. As you know there isn't a mobile version of Scratch, but we will be using an alternative for Victorbox. So open Play Store and search for Victorbox. And then click on install. So I have already installed it so so Pictoblocks is a scratch based coding platform where you could combine your scratch project with their development board such as Arduino Uno, Nano, Mega and Hawaii. And it has many cool extensions like face detection, object detection and more. You could check out Peterbox official YouTube channel which is Tempedia. So they have many projects and tutorials on their channel using Peterbox. So now I have opened Peterbox. So if you click on MySpace and you will get the projects you have made. And if you click on example, so there are some example project that would be helpful so to create a new project click on myspace and you see this add button so click on add and then it will create a new project so now you can see i am on the editor so it's same like square so it has all these blocks So this is a really useful app so you could code it just on your mobile. So first I'll be showing you how to use these blocks and the state. So you could simply hide this state by clicking this icon and then it would hide the state and it's just like scratch you could drag and drop the blocks and it has this undo and redo buttons, the maximize and minimize buttons and if you hold the screen you will get the options and if you click in this icon you will get the state and if you click this maximize icon you will see 4 arrow keys so it doesn't matter if you are using a mobile device but still you could use the arrow keys with picture blocks For that you need to go to sensing and then you will see key up, right, left and down arrow press. And then you could run your project. And if you want to stop your project, you could click on the stop button. So next I'll be showing you how to access the sprites and the backdrops. So to add a sprite, you need to click on this. And then it will load the sprite library so there are additional sprites as well. And the scratch 3.0 sprite library. So you could simply add a sprite by clicking. And then you will see the sprite has been added. And if you need to change the backdrop, so click on the backdrop icon next to the two sprite button and then click again and then you will get this pencil tool. So click on that. And then you will get this backdrop. So you could add, edit, 
or paint a backdrop. So the first button is to choose a backdrop. So you can choose a different backdrop. And on the second icon you could edit it. And by clicking on the third icon you could paint a new backdrop. And on the backdrop you get this option called sound where you could choose a sound to your backdrop. Then click on this return and if you want to edit a sprite simply click on the sprite and we click click and then you will get this option called edit duplicate and delete so if you click on edit you will get the parameters the costumes and the sounds so if you click on parameters, you can rename it, change the x and y position, the size, the direction, and you can show and hide this box. And if you click on costumes, you can get the costumes of this price. And you could even add, edit, or paint the costume. And if you click on sound, you could choose the sound to here. Sprite. And then you could select the other sprites as well and from here even you could add a new sprite by clicking on this icon. So you could duplicate and delete. So I hope this was a really useful video so if you like this video please make sure to give it a like and if you need to get more updates from our channel make sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon and if you find this video interesting or useful make sure to share with your friends and see you with another awesome video.